Hello, 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 my people. Happy Thursday. <clears throat> we got one more day into the weekend. So this is a, um, what is this? This is a scent layering and mixing video, but before I be so rude, my name is LaShawn Terry. If you're new here, welcome in to the gang gang. Uh, I appreciate all of my subscribers and people who watch my videos. Uh, thank you so much. You don't know how much it means to me. It really do. Uh, give me a thumbs up on the way in. Uh, I do have a playlist for you to look through to see if there are some other things that I am into, my hobbies, uh, that you may like other than um, other than uh, perfumes and body products. So uh, we're going to get into this layering. I just want y'all to know, too, when y'all see these mixing and layering videos, this is not something that I say um, I think would go together. I'm literally in here mixing all of this stuff up, all up, up and down, both of my arms and my hands um, until I get the right mix. I'm washing my arms and hands off, going in, you know, trying another scent, whatever, whatever. So. That's how I come up with these scents. And when I do bring them on here, um, that means that I really like the combination. You can go as simple with the combination or as over the bo overboard with the combinations. Just play around with them for your liking. So um, also with some of these scents, if they are like cotton candy, marshmallow, peach, you know, simple... Um, simple uh notes then you can use whatever whatever cotton candy peach um pineapple you know whatever that is that you have in your collection it does not necessarily mean you have to go out and get from the companies that i use for those um simple notes so use what you have if you feel compelled to go out and try these uh, brands. These are small uh, business brands. Most of the um, body products and perfumes that I bring you, they are small business owned men and women and uh, black owned companies. So, um, you know, just go and support them, but use what you have if you have those scents. If you do not, go out and get them because <laughs> you're missing out. So let's get in on this scent. Also, too, before we get into it, how I do my combos, it could be around a perfume that I want to use, or it can be around a oil or body product, body cream that I want to use. So I want to test and use the Caramel Glace, Glassy, um, however you say it, by Dawkins Aroma. So I had to find fragrances that complemented that um, particular fragrance. You can get that in a uh, oil and um, a perfume extract. Yeah, not sure what else it comes in, but I, as you can see, you can get it in the body oil. You can get it in the perfume extract. This would be it. This is a um, deluxe. Oh, no, this is a mist. No, wait a minute. I'm showing y'all the wrong one. Okay. You can get it in the extract. I'm not sure if you can get it in the mist, but the extract for sure. This is a deluxe uh, sample size. So if you're not sure of the fragrance, just get the deluxe sample size. Um, and that'll pretty much give you what the scent smell like before you may go into um, a full size body oil. Or whatever. So, okay, for the fifth time, let's get into the scent. So, I'm, I wanted to try the Caramel Glacy and see how I would, um, you know, freak it out. And so, with the Caramel Glace, it's um, inspired by Zerchoff's Lyra. It has blood orange, bergamot, jasmine, caramel, vanilla, and musk. You can pull any of these scents out how you wish. 
and just try them out. I would spot test them like I do to see if you like it before you slather your body down and mix and lather these scents and using up your products unnecessarily and then you don't like it. So just test the product out on your hand, on your arms, you know, a little spot test to see how the blend comes together. So um, I have not used this. This is by Coco Pink. Um, her Voluptuous Body Butter. It is a moisturizer because it does have water in it. You see? Water. This is in the scent of Sunkissed Clouds. And this went perfectly because I was I would go in and sniff this from time to time just to see, you know, what it's given. And I'm not gonna lie, I was I was like, uh, I don't know about that one. But the um notes are blood orange, satsuma juice, and marshmallow. I don't know what satsuma juice <laughs> smell like. I ain't gonna even uh sit up here and lie to y'all. And again, shy love, orange blossom, marshmallow, caramel, and vanilla. So you can see the uh, sun kiss clouds have um, two of the same scents, which is the 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 main scent is the orange, the blood orange. That's the main scent that you're going to smell in caramel glacy. The marshmallow is like an undertone. You do smell it, but it's a it's it's an undertone. You smell it in the background with um, sun kiss clouds again. You're smelling that blood orange. That's what was throwing me off like, huh? I mean, strong blood orange too. Strong blood orange. So if orange, it smells to me like a orange cream sickle, to be honest. But a strong blood orange cream sickle. Yeah. I'm not sure what Sasama juice smells like. That could be as well. That is um strong as well, but yeah, this was a little bit funny to me when I read the um, ingredients. Um, I said, oh, orange, you know, marshmallow. Okay, but when I got it, it was like, oh, I don't know about this. So that was a perfect mix between, um, with this, with the blood orange. Then you're going to throw in Frosted Eyelet. Now, both of these are from Coco Pink. Find something that has blood orange in it. I know you got something that's marshmallow if you in the bath and body and fragrances. You got something that's marshmallow. But Frosted Eyelet is buttercream, marshmallow, and vanilla ice cream. So again, it brings out that um, marshmallow and vanilla that you can put with this. Okay, so it mixed beautifully, beautifully. Um, frosted eyelet smells really good. I also have the, the ivory eyelet. The ivory eyelet and, and frosted eyelet are the same. The difference is ivory eyelet has lemon. Frosted eyelet does not. So that's the difference between frosted eyelet and ivory eyelet. They also have an apricot eyelet that I do want to try. So again, this is going to be your base mix. You're going to take your shower, throw your, um, put on your whatever body cream that you feel is going to complement. You put that on first because it's, it's water in it. So it's going to give you that moisture. Then you go in, I would say, second with the um, Caramel Glacy and then spray the Frosted Eyelet over it because this is a more softer scent. So um, you want to spray the softest scent on last. Now, um, I showed y'all that I had the Extrait Perfume. If you want more of that blood orange, um, if you want more of that, um, not blood orange, what the heck am I talking about? I'm going to, okay. Yes, if you want more of that um, blood orange and all the things that the Caramel Glacy gives you, you could go ahead and, and spray yourself down with the 
extract perfume with it or you can spray in certain pulse points. What also went well with it is Fun Fair. You can um, spray yourself down with Fun Fair or pulse points with topping it off with fruits and floors. I wouldn't use this if you're going to use one of these two. If you're going to use Fun Fair or fruits, fruits and Floors, I would spray Fruits and Floors. I would definitely, because it's my favorite, all over with Fun Fair in certain spots over it. But if not, if you want to stay true to the Caramel Gloss, Glossé, you just um, spray your Caramel Glossé perfume or any perfume that you think will mix well with um, this combination. But those are the ones that I had on hand that I really liked with this combination. So this is um, your first uh, body combination. Let's go to the second. Okay, let's get into the second one. So again, we have Shy Love here. I want to use Shy Love and I want to have it in a combo. Um, I just like combinations. Um, that's all. You can use it by itself and then spray your perfume over it. I don't have Shy Love perfume. I believe I ordered it and it's coming in with my um, new order. But Shy Love is um, orange blossom, marshmallow, caramel, and vanilla. Pretty simple. You can smell the vanilla in this. I mean, the um, marshmallow in this. A few people told me if I like marshmallow, which I love marshmallow, to get the Shy Love. And so I did. You can get the marshmallow in the background. Not smelling a whole lot of orange blossom. Yes, I do. Because that's what stands out. The orange blossom is what's making it stand out. You do get the marshmallow in the background. Not sure how the perfume works because I don't have it. Um, With the perfume, it goes through, it morphs. So you'll have your top note, your middle note, and then the dry down. Whereas I think with the body oil, it's a little different. But... You get off the top the orange blossom. You can smell the marshmallow in the back notes. And um, the caramel and vanilla just makes it creamy and more soft than loud. So what I did was, again, you take your shower. You go in with your moisturizer, which is going to be your marshmallow. I have several marshmallows. I have Delilah, Deliza the Marshmallow by Kais. I have um, House of Glory marshmallow i have cocoa pink marshmallow as you can see right here um so yeah cocoa pink and then you want to bring out the vanilla so i went in with cocoa pink's vanilla bean noel and in that um that's my best favorite fragrance from cocoa pink is the vanilla bean noel the notes are caramel sugar vanilla tonka bean and white musk the the sugar, the caramel, and vanilla mixed together just makes it such a deep, nice, sweet vanilla bean Noel. Very nice. So um, you go in and you can you can mix these two together. You don't have to spray them separately if you don't want to. You can um, spray them all over your body together and just mix it all in, and uh, you're done. But if you want to get a little spicy with it, let me show you what you can do. So this is your base right here. Your Shy Love is going to go on last because it's, it's your most potent potent um, uh, fragrance. Um, actually, that goes on first. You're going to put your Deliza, your, you're going to put your Marshmallow on first. Then you will go in with your Shy Love because it's the strongest. Then you will go in with your marshmallow and vanilla bean Noel or whatever vanilla you choose to use to finish it off. But if you're getting a little bit spicy with it and you got House of Glory's Tonka Bean Tea Cakes, 
You can add in taco bean tea cakes. Just mix these three together. So you're not mixing all day, layering all day, and taking you 30 minutes to put your stuff on. You can mix these three together. Put it all on at the same time. The marshmallow, vanilla bean Noel, and the taco bean tea cakes. If you have a peach, stay with me now. If you have a peach, what you're going to do, because that peach is also very potent, you're going to put your marshmallow on. You're going to go in together with your marshmallow. Um, you're going to go in with your Shy Love second. And um, you're going to go in with your peaches third. And these three last to top it off. Um, if you want to get even more spicy with it, if you got any peach fragrance or any fragrance that you think will complement this blend, I love the uh, fruits and floors with this blend because the peach, the apricot, all of that comes out just to top it off. Um, I have peach rings from um, House of Glory. If you're going to use the peach rings, I would mix it in with my marshmallow and vanilla bean scents. Um, so I would do that because that's a um, perfume oil. That's why it's so small. So you do have to mix it. I will also top it off with, um, let's get into it. So say you're doing this, the taco bean tea cakes, you got your peaches in there and you want to go in with a perfume to top it off. We can go in with Dua's um, Sweet Lemon Pastry. I believe this is their Acro Bake. That smells good. You can go in with Hey Princess, Hey Princess Sweetie. That goes good. It has some of the same notes that you uh, that are in the Shy Love. You can go in with Gourmand Escape if you want to tone it down a little bit and just make it more warm. You can go in with um, either the regular Gourmand Escape or the White Milk Gourmand Escape. It's your choice, uh, which you want to smell and feel like. To me, French macaroons and um, Acrobate were the best. Princeless Sweetie, if you want to just smell with a sweetness, um, girly, soft, you would go in with Hey Princess Sweetie. You can do Gourmand Escape. Is this all what level or notch of level you want to take the thing up? Or if you don't have regular French macaroons, you can go in with the French macaroons and white milk, although all I smell is white milk. <laughs> and I have two bottles. So that is um, that is what I got for y'all when it comes to um, when it comes to these combos. Um, I hope you like them. Let me know if you tried any of my combos. And you can make these as simple or as over the top as you want to play around with it. <clears throat> if you don't have these fragrances, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Go out and get them. Get them one at a time. I could tell you with Cocoa Paint, you're going to be waiting for about a month. <clears throat> House of Glory. And Bubble Bistro and Dawkins Aroma, you will get pretty quickly. <clears throat> um, 
Kais is going to take you a month. And I don't think she's doing the body creams for a while, which is what I heard. But you can get her marshmallow um, fragrance or any marshmallow perfume that you have or any marshmallow body cream um, that you have. Again, House of Glory. Um, Bubble Bistro has a marsh uh, marshmallow too. I believe it's called Cloud 69. Um, who else do I have a marshmallow from? Um, oh, Cosmic Blend has a marshmallow. You'll get yours from her in about a week's time. She's not the quickest, but her in the House of Glory, um, they ship within the seven days. Or you may go for like a seven day. Um, I heard uh, Cosmic Blend. I think hers is like two weeks. Um, so yeah, those are the ones that you can go to to get um, a marshmallow body care. Or you can find you a marshmallow fragrance from somewhere. I don't know. But that's about it. Hope you all enjoy your weekend or weekday whenever this gets uploaded. Please give me a thumbs up on the way in. I appreciate it. Let me know if you like my combinations that I um, put out. Are they too much for you? Can you have you made them simple? Have you even tried them? Let me know. Let's let's talk in the comments. Peace.